Often we get lost in fiction as an escape from reality, an escape to the fantastic and incredible journeys we can only dream of in real life. But sometimes those journeys are closer to our reality than we realize. As crazy as it seems, many shows, movies, and books are based on real events. So in this episode of Sci Fives, we list off five sci fi movies and TV shows based on real events. Number five, Battle Los Angeles. Battle Los Angeles is the extravagant story of an alien invasion against Earth that leaves Los Angeles as the final stand for humans. The epic battle happens in the public eye and is incredibly enhanced by the Hollywood movie makers, but the story of the actual battle comes from a true story said to have been covered up by the American government. The true event is better known as Battle of Los Angeles, or the Great Los Angeles Air Raid. From the late evening of February 24th to the early morning of February 25th, 1942, the sky above LA was the home of an aerial barrage. As it took place just a few months after America joined World War II and the Pearl Harbor attack, the forces originally believed the unidentified crafts in the air came from the Japanese military, but this proved to be a false accusation. On the 24th, the Naval Intelligence Unit warned that there would be a possible attack on LA within the next 10 hours. Sure enough, that evening saw many reports of flashing lights and large flares from defense posts. At 7.18 p.m., an alert was called, but was lifted just three hours later. However, just a few hours after that, at nearly 2.30 a.m., the air raid sirens sounded off, a total blackout was called, and thousands of air raid wardens were summoned to their positions. Less than an hour later, shots began firing and a battle ensued. A total of 1,400 shells were fired at the mysterious aircrafts. The all-clear was given just after 7 a.m. on the 25th. As a result of the incident, several buildings and vehicles were damaged and five civilian deaths were reported, three in car accidents due to debris and two by heart attack from the panic of the battle. The incident saw front page headlines across the country. So if this was a UFO attack, why isn't this known by the general public? Well, just hours after the attack, the Secretary of the Navy, Frank Knox, called the entire event a false alarm as a result of war nerves. Another general from the Army claimed that the event may have been caused by commercial airplanes used as psychological warfare, but this didn't convince everyone. A representative of Santa Monica named Leland Ford called for a congressional investigation, stating, quote, None of the explanations so far offered removed the episode from the category of complete mystification. Regardless of what happened, the event got a major upgrade to become the basis for the 2011 blockbuster. Number 4. The Mothman Prophecies The 2002 supernatural thriller starring Richard Gere was based on the book of the same name written by John Keel. However, the book came from alleged sightings of the creature that took place between November 12, 1966 to December 15, 1967 in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. The movie creates a fictional reporter who begins to research the legend of the Mothman. The story revolves around the reporter, Gear's character, and that side of the story is completely fictional as it follows him and his obsession, also connecting to his deceased wife. But the stories of the Mothman itself are based on very real allegations. For nearly a year in the late 1960s, Point Pleasant was plagued by sightings of the winged creature. It was first sighted by five men who were digging a grave at a local cemetery. The men claimed a man-like figure flew over their heads and then was not seen again. The first incident to make papers featured the headline, Couples See Man-Sized Bird, Creature, Something. The story then made its way into international headlines across the United States. The next few days saw more sightings, one coming from two volunteer firefighters who described the creature as a large bird with red eyes. On December 15, 1967, the suspension bridge named the Silver Bridge collapsed during rush hour traffic, killing 43 people. The town attributes this to the legendary creature. After this, the sightings died out. Some scientists say the Mothman was actually a large crane that was not native to the area. A biologist claims to have debunked a popular photo of the creature, stating it was nothing more than the large crane carrying another small animal away. Others say the Mothman was an alien. Whatever it was, it earned enough attention to be featured in several books and eventually onto the big screen. Number three, The Aurora Encounter. The Aurora Encounter is a 1986 Western science fiction movie about an alien that lands in the small town of Aurora, Texas. The visit eventually makes headlines, which brings the Texas governor to send rangers in to take action against what he deems as a threat. The story is based off of the true story known as the Aurora, Texas UFO incident. 
On April 17, 1897, 50 years prior to the infamous Roswell incident, a UFO allegedly crash-landed near a small farm in the town of Aurora. Unlike the movie, however, the alien occupant did not survive the crash, and its body was instead taken by residents and buried in an unmarked grave at a local cemetery. An army officer from the nearby Fort Worth claimed the body was, quote, not of this world, and was a Martian. In the year leading up to the crash, there were many sightings across the United States of cigar-shaped mystery aircraft. The wave of sightings ended after the alleged crash. The UFO was said to have hit a windmill and subsequently crashed in the field. The wreckage from the crash was apparently taken and buried with the alien, as well as under the damaged windmill. In 1935, a man named Mr. Bradley Oates bought the property and cleaned out the debris from the windmill to use as a water source. Following this, he developed a severe case of arthritis, which he attributed to contamination from the wreckage, and he would eventually seal the well with concrete. The markings on the concrete say this took place in 1957. The event has been the subject of many investigations, some even with major news networks. It has also been called a hoax, but what do you think? Number two, Stranger Things. The Netflix original has captivated audiences all around the world, bringing overnight stardom to the entire cast thanks to the incredible ideas from the Duffer Brothers. But it is a lesser known fact that these ideas aren't as original as many may have believed. The show is based on real events. The more obvious connection many have made is the MK Ultra experiments. This project was declassified in 2001 thanks to the Freedom of Information Act. It began in 1953 and officially halted in 1973. The project was in fact experimenting with mind control, using incredibly unethical practices in hopes of a successful result. In the show, Eleven's powers are as a result of her mother participating in these experiments. But while this connection may be more frequently made, the Duffer brothers lifted more of their story from a lesser known government project that isn't exactly admitted to by the government, nor known by the general public, the Montauk Project. The project was supposedly covered up by the United States government after it was halted in 1967. The project was supposedly put in place after the accidental jump into a parallel dimension by a Navy ship as a part of the Philadelphia experiment. It was officially launched in the early 1960s and supposedly researched and experimented on primarily parallel universes, but also time travel and mind control. This all comes from an account of repressed memories from a man named Preston Nichols, who later wrote a book about the topic. The project was said to have taken place at Camp Hero or Montauk Air Force Station on Montauk, Long Island. The Duffer brothers were so inspired by this story, they had originally planned to set Stranger Things in Long Island, and it was originally titled Montauk. If you're interested in learning more about the Montauk project, I recommend checking out my video, Do Parallel Universes Exist, as I do an entire segment about the project. And number one, Communion. This is another movie based on a book, based on a true story. The 1989 film has some big names attached to it. Christopher Walken starred and Eric Clapton composed the soundtrack. The story is about a family's encounter with extraterrestrials as the father is abducted while on vacation at a remote house. The father is based on the author of the book and the writer of the movie, Whitley Strieber, who claims these events are true events that happened to him. Walken's character becomes increasingly paranoid after continuous dreams that someone else is in his room with him. He is sent to therapy as a result, where he learns from repressed memories that he was abducted by aliens and experimented on. Here's a spoiler alert, at the end of the movie, he confronts his visions by returning to the cottage where he recalls the abduction from, and he learns that he has been in contact with these beings his whole life, as his father has before him, and his son will after him. Whitley Strieber has written other fiction pieces touching on the same genre, but his book Communion was released as a non-fiction account. As I stated before, he also wrote the movie. As well, the popular sci-fi show The X-Files parodied the book cover in the episode Jose Chung's From Outer Space. Thanks for checking out this sci-fi. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out my last video, Five Reasons We Are Living in a Computer Simulation. And be sure to stay tuned for future sci-fis on all things science and science fiction. And once again, a big thanks goes to my Patreon supporters. If you are interested in supporting this channel, the link to my Patreon page is in the description. Thanks.